Welcome to Houston News. Today is November the 10th, 2017, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market analysis whereby we give you price predictions, price movement according to the price bars and the volume. And we are not investment advisors and we are not giving you investment advice, but rather what we are giving you is more powerful, more phenomenal than anything that any financial advisor can give you. Now, Today in the market, you guys saw that the market took a nose dive. It was in sell-off mode for a lot of these cryptocurrencies. But for those of you who have watched these videos over the last couple of days, it should not have come as no surprise to you because we have notified you of our predictions of where these cryptocurrencies were going to go. And matter of fact, it went there today. The market did take a nose dive, but we at Houston News were not surprised. Matter of fact, we were we were or we was anticipating the move in the market to go down and we got that result today so you guys can see that the market cap for the cryptocurrency space now stands at 197.5 billion yesterday it was at 206.6 so that's like around nine billion dollars that left out of the market and you guys can probably tell that Bitcoin was one of those cryptocurrencies to where the money left they are down 7.05 percent ethereum is also down 6.20 bitcoin cash is up 47.1 percent and ripple is down 4.61 litecoin down 8 dash is in the positive 0.18 neo down 10.71 monero same 10.71 and ethereum classic also is in the positive up 3.14 so this is just goes to show you that the cryptocurrency market space is one of the best areas for you guys to be trading for the fact that you can gain 47 percent in one day is phenomenal you guys will not get that in the stock market in the bond market or even in the commodities market that's why the cryptocurrency marketplace is one of the best places to actually make a profit and money in because you can place your money in one of these cryptocurrencies for a small amount of time and get a substantial gain just like what bitcoin cash did today but you have to know the language of the market in order to get your money there before the market actually moves and bitcoin cash was one of our cryptocurrencies that we said yesterday that should be moving higher now, albeit we say this should make a small or slight move higher, but nevertheless, the market did move in that direction that we said it should go, which was up. Now, all the other altcoins in our video yesterday, we mentioned to you as well that it should be moving lower. And matter of fact, it did. We did give you some price areas that we was expecting these altcoins, Bitcoin to go. And it went there but also shot through that area as well which is also one of the reasons why you want to stay on top of your positions that you have in the market especially one like the crypto cryptocurrency market that is relatively brand new and you will definitely get a lot of volatility in the cryptocurrency sphere and you will be shaken out or you will be scared and you will close out your pos position prior to actually knowing exactly what's going to occur in the market and i take it that a lot of traders today did just that they saw the market moving down substantially and they feared and they got out as soon as possible but nevertheless guys you got to make sure you learn this language it is imperative because this is how you position yourself to make profit and to make and to keep your profits by getting out just in time and we'll talk about that like with Bitcoin so we told you guys that Bitcoin let's see right now they're down 7.34 percent last trade was at six thousand six hundred thirty thirty three dollars and forty cents so we told you yesterday that our analysis was for Bitcoin to move lower and not only that we told you that we was getting a change of tone on this particular day on the sixth so this was giving you opportunity to reevaluate your trade your position in bitcoin prior to today's fall 
that's why we are always ahead of the price move in these markets because we told you even on these three trading days that once you get stockpiled in the market especially on consecutive days that the market is changing its tone and moving higher and it's telling you it's giving you hints that the market is going to be moving lower and this particular trading day on the 8th of November was the culprit it was the climax it was the end of Bitcoin making higher highs at least for the time being and the last two days including today the market definitely has given us that confirmation so now what is going to happen for Bitcoin I'm gonna move it to a smaller time frame So you guys can see that Bitcoin came all the way down to $6,400. The market can possibly move higher due to the fact that the bar closed off of the lows. It might come all the way back up to the close and the open that occurred on the 1st and the 2nd of November, which was around $6,700 around that area, maybe around $6,500. It might come back up and touch. But definitely, you might even come up to $6,800 again as well. But given the fact that we have had the market move lower for two consecutive days for Bitcoin, then it is our analysis that they will continue to move lower. And that next area that they will possibly move lower was, I think it was around... six thousand two hundred dollars if the market is continuing its move lower then expect bitcoin to come to six thousand two hundred dollars and if it breaks through there and we get more because of weakness here at this location then six thousand dollars will be the next area so the price areas that we're looking for bitcoin to at least come in touch will be if it moves higher six thousand eight hundred dollars then if it moves lower it might even come to 6,346, then 6,200, and then $6,000. So those are the three price areas. We're looking for Bitcoin to trade. So overall, we're looking for Bitcoin to continue to move lower, given the fact that we have the volume back in this very widespread down bar. So now let's go to Ethereum. So Ethereum is down 6.46% last trade was at $297.98. So again, we forecasted Ethereum to move higher towards $325. It only made it to a high of $324, but it's still pretty close. And we told you at the market that we were getting stockpile on yesterday's bar and that it was going to move lower. And our first area was $310. And we said in our video yesterday, we got more precursors and weakness here than expected to come to 300. But as a matter of fact, it shot through that because we were still getting weakness at that price. So it came all the way down to a low of $286. Buyers came in though, bar closed well off of the lows. So the market may come all the way back up to $300. It might come there and touch it and move lower or maybe around $305 it may come to that as well. But we're still looking for Ethereum to possibly move lower again, and that would be around $280 again as well. So that is our analysis for them to move lower. But if they do move higher, expect them to go to around 300 to 305 as well. So now let's go to Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash is up 54.74%. Last trade was at $1,019.70. And I guess you guys can tell where the money is going as a consensus as to whether Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash is going to be the main cryptocurrency. It looks like majority of the market participants now are taking they're now taking their funds and placing them in Bitcoin cash. So we told you on this particular day that Bitcoin cash was giving us a definite precursor of strength on this day. 
this was your opportunity to get into Bitcoin Cash because the next two days is the result or the confirmation that this particular bar was a precursor of strength. So you guys could have made a very substantial gain in the market if you guys would have saw our video on the 8th of November. But needless to say, that's in the past. So what is in the cards for Bitcoin Cash? It has made all time highs on today at $1,040. That is phenomenal. So now we pretty much have to wait to see where is going to be the support resistant line for Bitcoin Cash. But overall, we're still expecting Bitcoin Cash to move higher. Given this very widespread bar, you guys will expect that to continue to occur. I'm going to try to see if I can move to a smaller time frame, see if we get something different. So over here, the market may come all the way back down towards the open and close that occurred all the way back on the 18th and 19th of August which was around eight hundred and eighty eight dollars which we're not necessarily forecasting we're still looking for Bitcoin cash to move higher it might come to the high that occurred on the 19th of August which was around 972 if it does move lower and it did that came all the way down to 960 so expect Bitcoin cash to move higher and we have nowhere on the chart to show you where it can possibly run into resistance for the fact that it is making all time highs right now. So now let's go ahead and go to Ripple. So Ripple is down 6.36%. Last trade was at 20 cents. So looking at the daily price chart, we told you in our video yesterday that if the market was going to be in sell off mode, we were expecting to trade sideways. And that was between 22 cents and 21 cents. But on top of that, we said if the market was going to be truly moving, if it's going to be moving lower, that expected to go to 20 cents. And it did that on today. But the market still came in to push the market close off of the lows which is a pretty good sign. It's going to show you that around this 20 cents area that Ripple likes to hold it as support. So our analysis for them will be for them to continue to trade around that area around 20 cents. It might come down a little lower again just to move out more of the sellers and get them out the way and the market participants come in and buy it up. So it looks like around 20 cents is where Ripple is going to be trading. It might go back up to 21 and a little lower than 20 cents on tomorrow as well. So now let's go to Litecoin. So Litecoin is down 8.73%. Last trade was at $59.12. So we said on our video yesterday that Litecoin was going to be moving lower. We got that today. Market came all the way down and touched this line that we have drawn all the way back since May the 27th. So it goes to show you that these support lines is still very accurate and it still holds true all the way into the future. So it is a very positive sign to see that Litecoin did come and touch that support and it bounced off of it. To close lower but what we're expecting them is for them to possibly come back up to that $60 area and then move down so that area for the Litecoin to trade sideways would be between maybe a little higher maybe around 61 62 dollars it might come and expect it to possibly come and test or touch 58 dollars and if not that, expect it to come all the way down to 56 again. But overall, we're expecting them to move sideways and look for around $61, $62 for Litecoin to come. And then if it gives us more precursors of weakness, expect it to come to 58 first, 
and then ultimately $56 again as well. So now let's go ahead and go to Dash and see what's going to occur on this particular cryptocurrency. So Dash is up 3.83%. Last trade was at $339. And Dash is still giving us that precursor to strength, which is a very good sign. You guys can see that Dash did move higher, but then the market got sh it moved sharply lower to a low of $305.12. But it was able to close above the close from yesterday. This is a very good sign as you guys are seeing now. The volume was also extremely high. We haven't seen this type of volume all the way in since. All the way back until the 26th of August. We haven't seen that type of volume. And then the spread compared to that type of spread. It's a lot smaller. So it tells you that a lot of activity was being placed around this price area for dash and it's a very good sign to have the overall cryptocurrency market sell off and dash close higher than the closing yesterday so that's why the market is moving higher as we speak and it is trading right here around that area that it might find some resistance so the market may come to around 340 dollars and then move lower and if it does move lower expect it to come to 320 but ultimately Dash may come all the way back up to the high that occurred today, which was around $352.41. And it might even come back up here to $360, just like it did over the last three trading days on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of September. So ultimately, Dash may come back up to that price area of $360. But currently, we're looking for them to at least come to where it is now. And if it moves lower 320, but if we're still getting that precursors of strength like we're getting now, then expect it to go to 350 and then ultimately 360. So now we're gonna go to Neo. So Neo is down 10.10%. Last trade was at $28.62. So we said that Neo was going to be moving lower as well. Volume is awfully lighter though compared to the last three trading trading days, which is pretty good for this type of a widespread. And in fact, that it came back to twenty eight dollars is also a good sign for Neo. And we will be expecting them to also move higher. And we're still looking around thirty dollars for Neo to possibly come. It might come to the highs of around like twenty nine dollars twenty nine dollars and thirty cents. And then the market may move lower again. Now, if it does move lower, it might come down to the lows, like around $27. So that's a possibility as well. But it's a very good sign to see that we had this widespread, but the volume is lighter than the last three days, which goes to show you that the sellers wasn't necessarily present in NEO today. So it's more likely that it would be moving higher than lower. And it might come back up to that $30 is the analysis that we are going to go for. So now let's go to Ethereum Classic. So Ethereum Classic is up 5.52%. Last trade was at $14.82. And we told you that this Ethereum Classic is one of the other cryptocurrencies that we liked for the fact that we were getting stockpile and the market and the volume was getting diminished each trading day. But one of the things we said was that it wasn't moving lower. And you guys can see that it is continuing to move higher. Even as we speak, the market is going higher for Ethereum Classic, which is a very good sign. The volume for today is also extremely high than the last three trading days, which tells us a lot of business transactions was occurring today in the market for ethereum classic the fact that it came all the way up to around fifteen dollars and fifty cents and shot lower but it closed higher than the close of yesterday tells the interest in higher prices for ethereum classic is still there now the market may come all the way back up to around fifteen dollars and twenty five cents or even a high of fifteen dollars and fifty cents but if this is going to be a push to go a bar then it will definitely go through fifteen dollars and fifty cents on tomorrow but overall, we're still looking for them to move higher as well. 
So the last one for today is going to be Monero. So Monero is down 11.05%. Last trade was at $106.70. So again, our video yesterday, you guys can go check it. We said that Monero was going to be moving higher on our analysis. And the market has given us a very wide spread down bar. But we do have buyers and it came in and supported the market right here around $105, which is very key for Monero because if it breaks $105, then please know that it is going to be moving lower and it might come all the way down to $100 first. And then from there, $95. Okay. But it is a good sign to see Monero moving higher above this $105 right now. If we get precursors of weakness, then it's going to go through it $105 and it's going to move lower to 100 at least. But given the fact that we do have buyers in the market because the close of the bar did come off of the lows and we've seen that the current bar that is forming it might come all the way back up to 110 if the market is really giving us precursors of strength expected to go to through $110. So that is going to be our price area for Monero to be trading. That is between $110 and $100. Now, if we get more precursors of weakness, $95 is where we are expecting Monero to trade. So like I said earlier, you guys got to make sure you place your funds and be more proactive in the market prior to any move because we saw a lot of videos on YouTube coming late to the party about the market has been sell off mode. The market is is losing a lot of the money that was placed in these cryptocurrencies. What's going on? We have been telling you guys for the last couple of days what's going to occur in the market that's why we do not pay attention to the news the news is already on these price charts this is your this is you being proactive in the market by you guys learning the language of the market because it tells us what is to occur in the market now your interpretation being the interpreter of the language of the market you will have times to where you will get it wrong. I mean, no one is going to come up bat and hit a home run every time. You will have some errors. But since we've been on this channel, our analysis has been pinpoint, has been very accurate. And that's why we maintain profitability because we get into profit mode and we see certain things occurring on these price charts that tells us we need to get out the market or it's time to get in the market. That's what so many other people do not tell you. They don't tell you when to get in and when to get out or even what direction they are forecasting these price bars, these cryptocurrencies to go. So to all the new subscribers, make sure you watch our video calls just some of the basics. You'll learn some of our terminology that we use on a daily basis just to get accustomed to watching these videos everyone else make sure you guys continue to watch these videos because we are ahead of the news the information is already on the charts keep it here keep watching these videos gain your confidence back as you watch these videos so you too can learn just a little bit of what is occurring in the market before anyone else knows i mean for example with bitcoin moved higher that one particular day and I told you guys that it was giving us a change of tone. I told you here on this particular day that Bitcoin was giving us a change of tone. I'm, I'm telling you there that the market is changing. And now the next two days, we still have stockpile, which is precursors of weakness appear for Bitcoin. And then the market finally gave us the results. See, we were ahead of everything else that was occurring in the market because we was getting these precursors of weakness signs. So we have already known prior to the SegWit 2X canceling anything that the market was going to be changing. 
So you guys should have been ahead of everyone else if you guys continually watch these videos. But that's all I have for today. Guys, make sure you stay profitable. Make sure you guys continue to watch these videos and I will talk to you later.